Romero Brito? Brito. 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 All right, guys, so today that's what we're talking about. My Romero Brito Disney collection, obviously. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Shannon, and this is Wonderland Shenanigans. This here behind me is my Wonderland, AKA my Disney Museum. And the shenanigans are the videos we film here of me acquiring Disney merch and Disney memorabilia. And I'm kind of all over the place with what I collect. Uh, the type of merch and then also I like old merch, I like new merch. So today we are doing newer merch. <laughs> All right, so I only have three pieces. So this video, hopefully I can get it done in under 10 minutes. <laughs> no promises. Romero Brito. Apparently he's the world's most licensed artist in history. There's too many to list, certainly too many for me to remember, but off the top of my head, I think he's had licenses with Louis Vuitton, Ferrari. Oh my gosh, Google it, it's insane. Uh, you've seen his art at the World Cup, the Olympics, but I guess he's even done commissions for like the Pope, Leonardo DiCaprio, and the like. So obviously it makes sense that somewhere along the line he would do Disney, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord he did. <laughs> a contemporary artist known for his pop art. You'll see lots of bright colors and the pattern. I didn't realize the pattern has a name. I think, I think it's called Cubist. Uh, which to me kind of looks like mosaic, kind of simple patterns broken up with really bright colors. I mean, it is eye-catching to the point actually that I have a love-hate relationship with Brito. It's probably why I only have three pieces because I love the ones I have and I dislike a lot of them. <laughs> we'll get into it. We'll start with Oswald. So for those of you who are new to Romero Brito, now you see what I'm saying with these patterns. So obviously the way Oswald was illustrated was not with these polka dots and stripes and... Oh sure, and I didn't dust right before I did this video. <gasps> we can like, we just take a minute and be like, It is stunning. It's stunning. Oh my word. So I stumbled upon Brito as I, you know, I'm doing Disney searches or I'm looking for certain figurines on eBay. I don't know, Instagram somewhere. And a Brito pops up. This guy I just fell in love with. I loved how it is majority still black and white. You know, his, the face is totally him. Love this pop of color, right? So he sits on my wish list. Eventually for a birthday or Christmas, I finally mentioned to my husband, I think it was for my birthday. I'd have to go check my gram. <laughs> His signature on the back. You see that on the foot? I see, I got, there we go. And then also look at this ear, this white piece right here. I just learned this the other day. Apparently that symbol right there is a bit of Brito's signature. Let's see, I've got some on the inside of his ear too, which you will see on many, many pieces of his art. Look at this little tail. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love him so much. Yeah, that expression. Okay, so. The three pieces I have, all of the faces look the way the characters look in the original animation. If you have Brito, you already know. He does this, this art style where he'll break up a pattern, but he might do it across the face. And I can't handle it. I can't, I don't, mm -mm. I might kind of like, not even true. If it breaks up the face, I just swipe onto the next. I can't. So yeah, this beautiful, beautiful Oswald. Oh my word. I think this is 2011 or 2012. No, is this a 2020 piece? Well, if this isn't embarrassing, <laughs> when in doubt, check the bottom, 2020. Okay, we'll go on to the next piece my husband spoiled me with. Oh my 
It's Jose. Jose Carioca? Carioca? The Three Caballeros? The only thing missing is the cigar. Okay, I think this is from a set. There were two others released, a Mickey and a Minnie. And I think this is called the Samba Collection. You know how I feel about Mickey and Minnie. Meh. But this dude, I can never find enough merch for the three caballeros. Oh look, there's a signature. So yeah, again, I eBay, the Graham. YouTube, I don't know where I saw him. It was love at first sight. I hesitated for a little while because as you see all these broken up colors, like this isn't what he looked like in the movie. His face is spot on. That sculpt, the paint job, yes, I'll take it. His outfit is not, like look at that tail. Of course not. The polka dots, but the way that he broke up this piece 100% acceptable to me. Oh my God. Can't you just hear the music? Oh my gosh. I will say too, um, I have bonked this one around a bit. About peed myself. Whatever this material is, this coating on it, I wouldn't say they're indestructible, but so far it's protected me from myself <laughs> thus far anyway. Okay, yeah, check out, like I said, I just learned this with the TT. Do you see that? This right here. Apparently that's part of his signature. At least his part of his signature style. Dude, there's just so much joy when I look at this. If you collect Brito, you already know what I'm talking about. Joy. I mean, the reason I started this channel, the reason I started collecting my museum is I only buy pieces when I look at them, they bring me joy. Oh my goodness, this is joy right here. Wow. I know, we're not supposed to find joy in things. And if I only found joy in things, we'd have a problem. That is not the case. This is just one example of where I find joy. He's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, oh, did I say? Oh yeah, 2013. That's how old this cat is. And when did I get him? I think just a year ago, because I think I had my YouTube channel and my husband, oh my gosh spoiled me more than I realized last Christmas. And apparently <laughs> he bought a bunch of gifts and hid them and then rationed them out to me. I was getting a gift like once a month. <laughs> so yeah, I think last January or February he gifted me that. Okay, so I only have one left. It's, it's much smaller, but I bought him, gosh, shortly after he was released. Pascal. I do not have a lot of Rapunzel merch. I mean, you know, it came out when I was older, so the merch doesn't hit me. So the colors on him, you see the broken up, the patterns, but primarily he's still all green. Yes, he's got a pink foot here and then the purple feet here. I do love the additional colors are very Rapunzel-esque. Right, like I feel like these are the colors you would see in her dress. Also, if you look at Pascal, his face is broken up, but I'm sure you've guessed it. It's still green. Both are colors I feel like are very much him that you would see in the movie. And I love also in the movie, he's a chameleon, right? So you watch him shift and change shape and not shape, not a shape shifter. <laughs> Who reads fantasy romance? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, you watch him blend into his environments. Oh my goodness. I love this little guy. I love collecting side characters. I don't even know if Brito does a Rapunzel. I know there's lots of Rapunzel merch out there, but I just don't care. But this cat, this cat, Super economical. At the time, I think I got him off Amazon for 20 bucks. And I think he's still available if you're interested. Yeah, do you guys see the TTs? I mean, he might be signing more than just the two Ts of his name. Gosh, it's just adorable. All right.
Before I wrap this up, I did want to talk about some of the other Brito pieces. Guys, if you're a fan, please don't be hurt and offended. This is just my opinion. It means nothing. So if, if you know, you're fans of these pieces, good for you. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. You know, you know how it is. Like, you love something, right? You love Jim Short. You love a Funko Pop. You love a Brito. You want more, right? So I'm always looking and... I just don't love it. Let me rewind. There has been a recent relief. I think it's a, the Disney 100 releases. It's like a black and white and gold. Beautiful. If you guys have any of the new release Brittos, the Disney 100, go ahead, leave me a comment. They're gorgeous. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so I'm looking at, there is an adorable Simba. And I'm so bummed because he's got this line that goes right across his face. I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, that's a good example. There's a really fun one with him, Timon and Pumbaa. The colors, it's too much. And I know that's what Brito is known for. So I guess this is just standard Shannon. I'm so picky. So I love colorful. I just got done saying that with the Jose. And yet th this is too much. Apparently it's a fine line. <laughs> oh, okay, here's one. This one right here is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And what he did to Belle's dress, it's like, do I have OCD and I don't know? I'm like, no, N no. <laughs> and I'm not even attached to Belle as a princess, but like, I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. too many creative liberties, I can't, I can't. <laughs> okay, do any of you feel this way? I think that's what it is, right? You either love the Brito or you hate it, which I guess is that even fair? Because I love the pieces I have. I, you can tell, you already know. <sighs> I guess this is what we just get to be picky with our money, right? Cogsworth. His face is good. He hasn't chopped up the face, but the, the, the color scheme on the body, just too much for me. Same thing, I've got a thumper here. And I love it because it's the rolling, laughing thumper, but I don't like the colors. Ooh, here's a good example. Okay, I didn't realize this. Apparently I'm a sucker for any Pinocchio merch. But this Jiminy, mm-mm, mm-mm. It makes me like, I absolutely adore my Jim Shore Jiminy Cricket. Do you guys have the Jiminy riding the seahorse? If you do, just know, wicked jealous. So jealous. Anyway, this is about Brito. I digress. Oh, here it is. The stitch. And it's funny, because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, this is similar to my Oswald. The colors are simple. That flower dangling, and it's got that red accent. And yeah, his face is chopped up, and I like it. So I guess it's a piece-by-piece -piece basis, apparently, because that is beautiful. It's not gonna make it to any of my wish lists because I'm not that big of a Stitch fan. And I have a tiny little Stitch collection right here that I really love. I have one of the original Funko Pops, the 626, and I adore that. I love that one. I've got a keychain where he's wearing the bra on his head. Let's just show you. And this is the only one I'll ever need because how adorable. This was the first stitch piece I ever got. And then I have a Disney Infinity. I do have a Disney Infinity collection video if you want a closer peek. But anyway, for not being a huge stitch fan, I'm happy with my stitch collection. So dad, if you're watching, don't go and buy me this. <laughs> <laughs> he, do you guys, any of you have the busts? I can't get my hands on any of the busts. There's a Tinkerbell and a Jessica Rabbit. And quite literally, Jessica Rabbit's bust is a little, ah! you know, I don't think of myself as a prude, but when I look at that piece, I'm like, ah! <laughs> Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on Brito. Let me know if you have any Brito, what your favorite pieces are, and don't be afraid. Let me know, you know, if we do not have the same opinion, that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And stay tuned, hopefully I will have my Black Friday Shop Disney haul up shortly. All right guys, thanks so much, we'll see you in the next one.